All right, hello all you Stouse fans and welcome to our first ever online multiplayer game against our very own Jason Seagal. I have no idea what team he's picked. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. We didn't do any kind of preliminary matches. There we go. We're playing against England in a T10. So I'm just going to change up the lineup a little bit. Got to get... Patrick in there. Let Yasson open the batting against himself. And let's get Paul Smith in there as well. All right, fairly happy with that lineup. And I'm ready to go. So while we wait for Yasan, I should explain this. This is just another one of the preparatory games before our friendly that should be coming up probably next week against Calendar as we get ready to start here. This is quite exciting. So we thought we, I'd try a few different game modes just to know, you know, get a bit more experience. We want to do the club proud in this friendly match coming up. So yeah, just kind of trying this out seeing how it goes like i said this is my first ever online multiplayer game so who knows who knows what will happen maybe yasan will take the title of best stouse player from me we'll see ladies and gentlemen good evening to you all for this t10 between england and universities i'm michael slater and next to me in the commentary position is Mel Jones. Evening slats. Absolutely. Well, as you see, Yasson's yeah, gone for England. For better. Hard to say Strong lineup there from him. I agree with you there, Mel. This should be a good one. Well, we've won the toss. Let's have a bowl so we can see what Yasson gets up to. And we'll bowl first. And we're just about ready. Time for the first ball. Right, well, I'm just going to change the field if I can. Yep, very quickly. We'll leave a man back at fine leg. Let's get him back there. Let's get him on the covers. And that should be fine for now. There we go. New field set. And let's see how this goes. McPherson to open up. Bowling to Roy. I had a miss there. First up. Well started. McPherson in again. Short beats the batsman. Outside off stump. Well bowled. First and third ball of the over to Roy. Outside off stump, clipped through the covers. There is a man back there. It looks like it's Yasson. And he's off the mark with that one. England off the mark. Good bowling here from McPherson. Brings Butler on strike. McPherson into him. Does it off stump. The shout for LBW, it's not going to be out. Right, got to keep Yasson on his toes. First and in, two balls left in the over. Outside off stump and clipped out to point. Go for the single. And that one threw for one. Good running from Yasson. Final ball of the over for McPherson. Been very tidy so far. Oh, short and wide. And yeah, that's given as a wide. Not great that from McPherson. And again. Oh, yes, I'm trying to clip that down leg. Some good bowling. End of the over. The pace bowler is coming into the attack from the north end. Here we have Armstrong. 
at the other end. He'll be looking to make a mark here against Butler and Yasson. That's full and strikes the batsman on the pad. Get through for one. Well, just a lack of concentration there. I'm strong in again. This one's hit up in the air. There is a man back. Yeah. Takes the catch. And that's the first wicket of the day. Armstrong takes one. And our first ever wicket in multiplayer games goes caught. I think that's Jess out there. Bold Armstrong. And Jason Roy has to go. The new batsman will be down at the non-strikers end. Batsman cross, so it's Butler on strike. Armstrong and again. This one's straight and worked her way through the leg side. Yasson does the fielding. There's a dive, but Batsman's safe. Fairsto is about to face their first ball. Armstrong to Bairsto. Short and... That batsman's out. How on earth has that happened? I'm going to have to watch a replay here. He smashed it back onto his off stump. Great bouncer from Armstrong, and it's another wicket. The deceased batsman bowled for a duck. The batting team are now two for six. And it's all happening here, and Armstrong's over. Welcome the new batsman. The captain is heading out onto the field. Sorry, just getting some messages from my competitor. He is not the happiest chappy. As Armstrong's in again. Ah, uh, beats Morgan outside off stump. Oh, not able to connect there. Two for one after his first over. Armstrong in again. Last ball. Beats Morgan outside off stump. Fantastic bowling. Very tough to face. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Bit of psychological warfare here. Yes, on bowling to himself. Knocked through the leg side. Well fielded there at square leg. They get one. Ah, Ross misses the stumps and there's going to be overthrows. McLennan unreliable. Two runs added. They get two. Garland again. This one's shorter. There's a batsman cutting. Ooh, they're confident. It was never out. Again, just want to keep Yasan on his toes. Yasin once more. This one's full. Strikes the batsman. This time he's given and Yasan takes a wicket against himself. Batsman doesn't think he's out. Sending this for review. Well, it's definitely not a no ball. As the challenge comes in. Was there a snick? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no edge there. This would be the big one. Pitches outside off. The Hits in line. No and hitting the stump. Three reds. And that's out. Umpire sticks with his decision. And Yasson takes a wicket. Butler has to go. And England, I believe, are now all out of reviews. As Ben Stokes comes to the crease. Two left-handers. Stokes. About to face their first ball. 
Yes, on in here once more. The Stokes, and he's knocked out his leg stump. What a ball. Well, we might find that it's a little bit more difficult to bat when we get out there. But at the moment, it's looking fairly one sided. Seagal in, bowls to Ali, who flicks that into the leg side. They look for a single and they will get it. No hat trick for Yasan. And will now be looking to build. It's still one ball left in the over. Yes, on in bowls. There's an appeal for LBW. And he's given! He's given and there's no appeal! There's no challenges left and Yasan takes his third and four balls! A very important wicket, that one. Oh, fantastic bowling here from Jason Segal. And England in all sorts of trouble. He's the new man at the non-strikers end. Armstrong in for his second over. Ball and outside off stump. Well bowled. England five down for just nine runs. Armstrong in again. Runs a bit shorter and again beats him. Outside off stump. Third ball of the over for Armstrong. Into Moeen. Bull and worked off his pads. Look for a single and they will get it. Into double figures now, England. Fourth ball of the over for Armstrong. Short and pulled down to fine leg. There is a man back there this time. Nice shot. Two balls left in Armstrong's spell. This one's shorter and down leg. Seagal into field at square leg. Can't stop the single. Good direct hit though. Final ball for Armstrong. He's in. Bowls. This one's down leg and flicked away with a plum. Wokes hits that one for four. England just finding their feet a little bit here. The wall. The new bowler. Ensure into Moeen. Bull and strikes the batsman. There's an appeal. Probably missing off though. Didn't get the wicket, but will have unnerved the batsman. He needs to keep the pressure up. Good start for Ensure. This is full again, and he's nudging it down to mid on. Haynes does the fielding. Ensure in once more. Good start from him. This one's hit out in the air through mid wicket. Franklin's back. And keeps it to one. Glennon hits the stumps this time. Ensure just coming over the wicket. The right handed Wokes. Then bowls straight and a bit of a leading edge. Well cleaned up by McLennan. Ball the over for Earnshaw. This is outside off stump. Edge away through point. Look to get a single. Paul has it in his hands and is just running with it for some reason. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Final ball of the over for Earnshaw. Two off it so far. This one's straight. Clipped in the air through mid wicket. There is a man back. It's Franklin. They're committing to two. And oh dear. Ross McLennan. What's going on? I thought he had a chance there. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the north end. 
Well, we have Alex Haynes into the attack. He'll be looking to do well against Yasson. Starts off with a big off cutter. Of course he does. Oh, not able to connect there. Haynes in once more. This one's straighter and hit hard through the covers. There's a man back, but he can't get to it. That's a wonderful shot from Wokes. Haynes in once more. This is full and outside off and beats the batsman. Well bowled. So close to being bowled. Fourth ball for Haynes. Wokes looking to get after it. Clips this one through cover point. Pulls there to do the fielding. Brings Moeen on strike. Haynes to him. This is full and off cutter again. Great little movement now. Final ball of this Haynes over. He's brought it back well. It's full outside off stump. Swinging in. Left alone. And that's the over. Earnshaw to continue. He's none for four of his one overs. Balls in, clip through the covers. Pulls after it, cuts it off, but they get the single. One run there. And Sharon once more, Santa Moeen strikes him, probably outside the line. Worth asking the question though. Venture in once more. It's Moeen. This one's straighter. Hits him on the pad. That's been a through for one. It'll be a leg by though. Fourth ball of the over. Ensure in. Bowling. This one's driven straight past Earnshaw. They get one. Two left in the over for Ensure. He's in now. This is straighter to Wokes. Finds the outside edge. Down to short third man. And they get one. Final ball for Earnshaw. Shorter and played round to square leg. Seagal does the field and can't hit the stumps though. Another really good over there. Five for 30. Three overs left. So things are looking up. For England, they are scoring a little bit more freely now. Haynes in to Moeen. This is tucked through mid-wicket. They should get back for two here. Seagal does the fielding. And the batsman teleports down to the other end. Haynes in once more. This is full outside off stump. Plays and misses. Misread that one. Couldn't get the drive away. Nice channels there by Haynes. And again, sounds full and closer and beats the batsman outside off stump. What a delivery. Haynes in again, fourth ball of the over. This one's short and pulled away to square leg. The no. girl's just running with it for some reason. Doesn't want to throw it. And that brings Wokes on strike. 13 for him, off just 10 deliveries. One's full and driven, they'll get one down to mid-off. McPherson does the fielding. Out. Final ball for Haynes, been a tidy spell for him. One's full and yeah. clipped down to mid-on. How did that get there? Need to direct hit. That'll be close. Batsman came back for two, and yes, another wicket. Hard to tell what's going on with the lag with the running. But a great throw from McPherson. Leaves the batsman short, and... Oh, sorry, from Earnshaw. Leaves the batsman short. Plunkett is the new batter at the non-strikers end. Tiger to come back on again. Well, McPherson to come back for his second over. Very good start to the innings from him. See if he can continue bowling to Wokes, who's on 14. 
McPherson's in. Strikes the batsman outside off stump. There's a little appeal. Never going to be given, though. McPherson in again. This one's a little bit further outside off and hit hard over cover. Beats extra cover. Out to the boundary for four. Nice stroke from Wokes. He's batting well here. McPherson will have to compensate. This one's shorter and cut out to point. Fielded by Smith, but that threw for a single. Good running. Plunkett has their first ball to face here. Brings Plunkett on strike. His first ball. McPherson into him is full. Outside off stump, they'll get through for another leg by. Doesn't play that one well. Wokes on 19. McPherson into him. This one's full straight, hit high and far. That's a great shot from Wokes. Six. 104 meters. Looks like it came off his toe. Uh, the multiplayer. Gotta love it. First and in again. This one's outside off stump. Clipped up in the air. Didn't quite get all of that one. And Earnshaw takes the catch. Tried to go twice in a row there, did Wokes. And after a good innings, comes to an end. knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Well, stands the bowler who's been selected to bowl. I want to change that, but doesn't look like I can. Nope, apparently can't. Oh well, I wanted Pat to be the one to bowl, but did we stand instead? First ball straight, hit high in the air. There's a man running back. Will he get underneath it? Yes is the answer. And this match could start to look very Another wicket here. for St. Andrews as Stan comes in and does the job. Ball hit high in the air. The McPherson gets under it and Joffre's gone. First ball. Rashid is the new batter. Pat the non strikers in. Franklin in again, second ball. Full outside off stump. This one's hit up and at cover. No Hay takes the catch and in <laughs> Franklin's got two in two balls. The new batsman and Mark Wood in. About to come into bowl on the hat trick ball. Hattrick ball for Franklin. Zinn bowling to Chris Wood, who's hitting the ball up in the air. Will the fielder get to it? No, it's gone over his head for four runs. Oh, so much excitement there. I thought the fielder was going to make it. Instead, it's four, and Wood's off the mark. Oh, Rashid, sorry, is off the mark. Franklin in once more. One's outside off stump and bowls him. Great movement back off a of length. Watch this one. Oh, it turns, hits the top of off, takes it out, and that's the innings, folks. So this innings has come to an end with the final wicket falling. Well, and there you have it. A rather sickly looking scorecard with five ducks for England. 53 is the target. Now to bat we have McLennan and Seagal. Wokes has been handed the new ball. Right, so I, ostensibly this is on... Uh, I'm ready. He's changing the field. Ostensibly this is on normal difficulty. Um, I have no idea what it's actually on. Uh, Yasson claims to have some difficulty himself when he was batting, so... We'll just be cautious to begin with. Don't really know what's going to happen here. Doesn't look like Yasun's field change worked out for him. 
So, we might be trying again here. McLennan on strike. Works into bowl. Bring field. Oh, good ball swinging away. Mistimes that one. Good timing, so... Can't be on too high a difficulty, because I don't think I got anywhere near the proper timing for it. Here we go. McLean nudges that one through square. You get one. Yasson's coming back for two. McLennan is as well. Now through. Two. St. Andrews off the mark. I feel like that was an outswinger that started a bit too straight from Yasson. To be fair to him, he's had the benefit of watching a lot of my cricket. So he should at least have some notes on where I like to play the ball. And he's ready for his second delivery now. Man back. Deep square. McLennan hits it very hard. Almost doesn't care about that man. He does well to keep it in the boundary. And it's another two. Two added. Ominous start here for England. McLennan looking like he's in a bit of form. Got to question the field placing here. He's just giving him that shot through square leg. We know McLennan's strong. Oh, it's a no ball. The batsman didn't know where that was going. I misread that ball. Free hit. Here we go. Wokes really needs to take their time and try and get this right. Well, where's this going to go? Free hit. Yep. Square legs the answer. Will it go all the way? That one's out of here. Yes, it will. Hits the rope. Six runs. McLennan on 10. Yep. Hunches that one off the back foot. Nice out to the cover sweeper. Move St. Andrews through to 12. And this brings Yasson on strike. Falling to himself. Works into Seagal. Nudges it through the leg side and Seagal's off the mark. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the south end. And here we are, Joffre into bowl. Seagal on strike. Where's he going to go with this one? Short. What a delivery. Finds the edge. Well bowled. Certainly was onto me in a hurry. Didn't really know what was going on there. Joffre in once more. Skull's back and clipping it behind square. Can't beat point though. Can't get into his head too much here, Yasson. No, he's got a little bit of a problem with that. Joffre's in again. Seagal's forward, punches it out to mid-off. Hits it actually quite well. But beats the throw with the, the dive. Single. Brings McLennan on strike. He's on 11. Joffre into him. Full clips it out through the leg side. Backward squares round to field, and it's just a single. And they go through for one. Players teleporting all over the place. Did a good over from Jofra. He's in again. And oh no, Yasson, what have you done? This is an important wicket. First wicket falls for St Andrews, and it's a beautiful in swinger from Jofra Archer. Glorious delivery. Seagal goes bold by himself. The deceased batsman bold for two. I have to say that was a great ball from Jofra. The new batsman takes guard. Brings Earnshaw to the crease. Now Yasan will look, be looking to get him out early. Yep. Safely plays that along the ground. Once just a little leg side from Seagal. A wicket falling in that over. And Earnshaw's off the mark. From it. Well, after an expensive first over, they're changing the bowler. The right we've seen, yes indeed, Liam Plunkett in. 
from the north end. Falling to Earnshaw. Plunk gets in, it's full. And she's driving down the ground. Bit of a yes no there. But Earnshaw's through quickly. And they get one. Clean him back on strike, he's on 12. Plunkett into him, he's driving hard straight down the ground. Mid-offs around to field, and it'll just be another one. 35 from 46 balls. Not too much scoreboard pressure on St. Andrews at the moment. Oh, great delivery from Plunkett. Doesn't Swung a mile. Well. Earnshaw on strike, plunk it into him. It's back, cutting, and they're through for a single. Slack work there by short third man. McLennan on 13. Plunk it in again. Full ball. McLennan yep. flicks this behind the square. The field are going to get there? No, he's not. Fantastic shot by McLennan. Again, question Seagal just giving away those runs. Plunkett in again, final ball. McLennan's pulling this time, beats the man. It's another boundary for Ross McLennan. Fantastic stroke. It's like Archer to continue. No. Just as I go to say that, proven wrong. And we've got Rashid bowling to Earnshaw. Earnshaw has a problem with these wrist spinners. Driving this one hard down the ground, fielded by Rashid. Dot ball. Good cricket. Sheet in again. This yep. one's full at the stumps. Earnshaw works that through square. Think about two, but no. Another Settle right for added. one. Rashid into McLennan this time. Yep. He's hitting it nice in the one. air. Over the bowler's head for four. Not a bad stroke at all. Clennon, 25. And Andrews need a further 21 runs. Oh, and bang goes McLennan. Holy cow, that is huge. Powerful shot. He certainly got hold of that. Rashid in again. Two balls left in the over. Yep. One nudge out to point. Nice Can't beat the man, though. Well bowled. Good comeback. Final ball for Rashid. Into McLennan, who's on 31. Yep. Just driving that down to mid-on. Good cricket. Means McLennan retains no, strike. You too many away in that over. Plunkett to continue. 11 off his first over. Falling to McLennan. Yep. Ford nudges that to mid-wicket. Running with the shot. And they get one. One run there. Andrew back on strike. He's four from six deliveries. Yep. Just clips this one off his pads. Man back on the boundary and they settle for a single. McLennan on 33. St. Andrews need 12 to win. Oh, great ball. Swinging away. A little premeditated that shot, I think, from McLennan. Plunk it in once more. Oh, he's trying to cut that. Not quite sure that the cut shot was the right option there. And a good over so far for Plunkett. Only two off it. He's in again. Full ball, driven by McLennan. Well played. And get one. 11 from 31 deliveries required for St. Andrews here. It's not exactly been a close game. It's been a good game, though.
good bowling in that over. Very tidy over from Plunkett. Only four off it. Rashid to continue. Bowling to Earnshaw this time. Ford nudges it through mid-wicket. Good running from Earnshaw. Get the single. McLennan back on strike. He's on 34. Yep. Hitting this one hard over square leg. The man on the boundary won't Great get shot. there. Four, runs. Four more. Five required. McLennan's gone straight. Right He's hit that very line. high and very far. And that is the game. What a way to finish it for St. Andrews. Uh, the announcer's got that completely wrong. St. Andrews completing a decisive victory. As we see the shot from McLean right off the middle of the bat. Absolutely smashed it. Into the trees. And that completes a stunning victory here by, by St. Andrews. Our first ever online multiplayer game against our very own... <laughs> Epic Ferret, Yasun Segal, and as we look at the scorecards for both sides, you can see it was fairly one-sided the whole way through. Yasun did manage to find his feet through the middle, a good partnership between Moeen and Wokes there for the sixth wicket, 26 runs coming there, but the rest of it, I wouldn't watch this uh, too many times Yasun. Looking at the St. Andrews bowlers, McPherson won for 14. Very tidy first over, really set the scene for St. Andrews. Was unlucky to go for a few in his second. Armstrong, brilliant first over as well, two for eight. Three for three for Seagal's one over. Bit of psychological warfare there. I think I got inside Yasson's head. Earnshaw, none for eight, tidy. Unlike him not to get a wicket. Haynes, none for 10 off two. Tidy as well, and Franklin there, Three for four of four balls. Something happening every ball. Wicket, wicket, four, wicket. And looking at the St. Andrews batsman, Ross McLennan, absolutely the star. 44 from 20 balls. Seagal, unfortunate to go bowled by a beautiful ball from Jofra. And Earnshaw playing the support role as McLennan struck hard and struck true, seeing St. Andrews home. Looking now to England's bowlers. Wokes, expensive off the top that one no ball setting up McLennan to go big and the momentum just stuck with St Andrews from that moment. Joffre one over one for three absolutely the pick of the bowlers. Plunkett bowled well especially in his second over none for 15 and then Rashid none for 23 just getting the big end of McLennan's bat. Man of the match goes to Ross McLennan fantastic effort by St Andrews if anyone out there who watches wants to challenge me, uh, let me know in the comments. Drop me a line. I'd be happy to have a game against any of you now that we kind of know that this is possible. Anyway, enough from me. I've been Jim the Editor. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been something different. So I hope you'll bear with the kinks that are part of the multiplayer experience for Cricket 19. Anyway, I hope you hear from me soon.